Welcome back everyone. So today we'll be fitting a FitCam X uh, dash cam into a BMW 4 Series. Um, it's an F33, uh, so it's on the convertible. Um, everyone that knows my channel, I, I tend to stick to uh, next-base uh, next cameras. Um, I rate them. I, I They're easy to fit. And I've been fitting them for many years. Now, um, obviously we come across the, the FitCam ones, which are sort of like an OEM fit. Uh, camera that sits up into the uh, top behind the uh, rear view mirror um, which replaces the, the the sort of cowling and the cover for the, the on the original car that covers up sort of your sensors and, and integrates a camera into there um, much like the sort of OEM ones that you can get from uh, sort of BMW and Porsche and so on. Um, so with the cameras themselves um, there's different options you sort of there's a uh, sort of 1080p kind of front cam um, and then there's two uh, 4k uh, dash cams one that's just front uh, and one that's front and uh, rear so with the front and rear one um, it retails at about 200 pound um, when you um, look at the uh, bmw equivalent for the front camera on its own, it's normally about £300, and I think the front and rear is about £500. So, um, within reason, you're saving, you know, one to £300. Um, and with the camera, it, it's really easy to install, as I'll show you in a minute. Um, it literally just pops into place. Um, it has like a Y-split harness uh, that connects into the original car harness as well. So, realistically, um, it, it takes about five minutes to install. Uh, there's no cutting the cables there's nothing like that at all um it's just really really simple um so what we'll do is um we're getting to the, the installing it and i'll show you how simple and easy that it is um and then um we'll go through it at the the end so in the kit itself you've got the um the camera um which has a little memory card in the side so that's the camera as you can see it's replaces the, the cover um, also the rear cam obviously with that we can't fit that on this one uh, due to the fact it's the hard top convertible so it won't fold properly but you would have the power cable for that um, you get the Y split cable and a nice little panel tool um, so with the wire split cable there's two versions of how to power this in um, you've got the wire split cable which um, comes on when the ignition's on and goes off when the ignition's off um, but there is also an option for a, a perm like a hard wire kit that also uh, connects into your fuse box so um, it will be on um, when the car is when the car's turned off basically so it's always on and has a, a fee and has like a park mode um, but we don't have that wiring kit today and um, so it will just be the when the car's on the car the, the camera starts running when the ignition is turned off the the camera will stop uh, recording so the first thing we need to do is just remove the old cover so with the panel tool you simply Oh, that's one way of doing it. Um, you just pop the old cover off, and that simply just clips together. Same with the new camera. Next thing you need to do is just remove the upper purple cable, which just pops out. And then with the supplied harness, we just connect the harness. So we just connect up the the wire split harness there. 
Then the next thing to do, just gonna connect up the, the power cable for the, for the new camera. Okay, so with the camera, there is a little lug, little locating lug there that fits into the hole there. Um, what I'll do is then once you do, is you connect the cap, push the camera together. I can't really do it one-handed. Um, I'll quickly do that and then I'll, I'll come back to you and show you what I've done. Okay, so that's the camera in now. Um, it was slightly difficult trying to do it one-handed, um, but when you uh, poke, can poke the cables up into the, the roof lining, um, tidy it all up, it does take a couple of minutes just slowly and carefully. But the fit on that is brilliant. Um, it looks like it should be there from factory. Okay, so once you've installed the camera, um, you need to uh, install the uh, app on your phone. Basically go into your uh, either the app store or, the Go or Google Play store. Uh, and download the FitCam app. Um, basically, once you've installed it, I'm going to click on that. Basically, what you do is you go into your Wi-Fi settings on your phone before you open up the, the camera. Um, you search for the camera. It says the Wi-Fi name of the camera. Hit the password, um, and then, basically, it will connect to the camera. Um, once you've done that, go into the, the, the app, and uh, I'll just go back to the front. It will say where it says recording started, or car and then the number it will say there connect to a cam um, you hit on that it finds your camera and then basically that's your camera connected to your phone with the app obviously once you've got it if you have got the camera um, wired in so it's on all the time obviously I've got the car on ignition at the moment so the camera is on and, and recording and um, what you can do is with the camera um, you can go into live mode which it's now so if there was any sort of motion settings or you heard something outside um, you can go into the app and you can put the camera on uh, and see like live view um, kind of a bit like your ring doorbell um, but you need to be connected to the the car um, obviously with camera files um, if you click on here so this brings up all the recordings. At the moment, I've got the recordings set to uh, sort of three minutes on a loop. So basically, um, well, originally I think it was one minute, but I've changed it to three minutes now. Um, you click on the file that you want. Obviously, you can save it to your save it to your phone, download it to your phone. Uh, these are obviously just the phones that are on your um, SIM card. Um, it will also on the top there. It does show you all the different options. Uh, of live mode parking mode so if you had the car with the, the hard wire kit and the cars in park mode um, you can see what what what's been um, recording in in park mode um, obviously within camera settings you can change if it records sound um, if it just does fo like photo resolution video resolution loop record duration um, if it has a timestamp uh, you can name the car um, adjust like all, all the different settings but what it does say in in the in the manual that no one ever reads every uh, two to three months it's worth reformatting the SD card um, just to stop it from corrupting because I've noticed it even with the, like the next base ones and so on um, after a while because it's on a loop record um, it does it does play up occasionally so every two three months reformat the um, the disc and then it should should be should be fine but that's that's the app and a little bit of a walk around so that's the end of the video as always i hope it was uh, useful i mean with the, the camera itself it's it's brilliant for the price at 200 pound um what i will do though i will put a link to the store the online website and also the uh, amazon link they've got them on amazon um i say there's slightly slightly dearer on amazon for about five ten pound however you you can get them next day so realistically on amazon you're paying for the next day delivery but um they're about 200 pound at the moment for the 4k front and rear um like i say with this one it does have the rear camera however um i didn't install that on this occasion due to the fact that it's hard top convertible and the wiring uh, would be atrocious um, but it's not something that i wouldn't look at uh, to do in the future um with the cameras they're really good. The fit was good. Um, the ease was good. I mean, don't get me wrong. It looked 
I, I made it look atrocious on the video, I'm not going to lie. Um, but if I wasn't recording it and I had both hands and I could move around a little bit easier because unfortunately the tripod was slightly in my way, um, I reckon you could do that in, in five minutes. Without a doubt, five minutes, that's done. It's, it's tucked out of the way, you forget about it, it looks clean, tidy, it looks like it's come from the factory. Uh, and like I say, from the BMW ones, you're looking at 300 quid for a front dash cam, 500 pound for a front and rear dash cam, and you're getting a front and rear 4K for 200 pound. So um, realistically, it's a no brainer. Um, they Obviously this is in a BMW, but they do it for pretty much most cars. All your like Porsche, Audis, Lamborghinis, everything like that, big cars, um, full Pumas. I know that's not a massive car, but um, and so on. So have a, I'll put the link to the website. You can have all the different cars, all the different brands, um, and also I'll do the uh, link to the Amazon shop as well. Um, as always, I hope the video was useful. If it was, like the video. Please look to subscribe to the channel. I've got a lot more coming up, and. Uh, well, thanks for watching, and I'll um, I'll see you in the next video.